Alrighty folks, welcome to my updated mods video. Uh, I've done one of these ooh, about a year ago maybe. I've uh, done a fair amount more to the bike. Well I say a fair amount, it'll probably just be stickers and a couple of other bits. Um, but yeah, just wanted to go over what's been done in the last year. Uh, so I'm off to find a quiet spot. Uh, fucking hate this road. Uh, I'll find a quiet spot. Hopefully uh, it's not too windy because it's been windy as fuck for the last few days. Well, last few weeks. Wanted to get my drone out today as well, but no. <laughs> Gravel. A little poo came out there. Uh, I've also just bought um, a DJI Osmo mobile thing, or the Mobile 2. Uh, gimbal, so just want to dick about with that as well. See if we get some arty farty panning shots that look like amazing and cinematic, but when I do them, they'll look wank. Skirt! Mm -hmm. This will do. Enough of the arty farty stuff. I'll start with the cosmetics. Uh, first up is the graphics. So I've got uh, MCN graphics to do uh, a custom kit just for me. It's basically the full bike uh, minus the hand guards. R rim graphics, the fork protectors, radiator guards or shrouds, whatever what you call them, rear panels, swing arm. Uh, I do love this though, the 701 Monster, love it. Uh, now the number board, that is off the Husky FS450, uh, it's not a straight fit, um, the pins in the bottom, you can just see them right in there, uh, they fit, uh, but there's obviously no mounting point just behind the, uh, the headlight or whatever, so go on focus you turd, I uh, don't know if you can see the zip tie in there, maybe not. Um, yeah, just a couple of zip ties in the back. One to one around some wires and another around a little hole that I made in the in the uh, the number board. Hand guards, uh, they are off the KTM Husqvarna hard parts list. Uh, it's just a big uh, alloy bar with the, the clamps just in there. Um, they're, they're rock solid, like they're, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you can probably lift them up, uh, lift the bike up with them on, they're not going anywhere, and they were only about £90, so they're a lot better value than what uh, all the other bars, are, the hand guards are, like the Cherubis or Ace Abyss, uh, and the Pro Bends and whatever else there is. Uh, Tecmo carbon fibre uh, engine guards, engine covers, thankfully I haven't tested them yet. It is more just cosmetics than than protection. If you want protection, then I'd probably go for a big, thick, heavy um, plastic one. Um, maybe not the RNG one, but the uh, the Adventure Spec or the Triple Clamp ones. The AXP um, Bash Guard Engine Sump Cover, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's like eight eight mil uh, high density plastic. Uh, some users on the Facebook pages and whatnot have kind of crash tested them and they, they seem to hold up well. Mounting was a bit of a pain, um, just trying to bend it into place and stuff. Uh, it fits between the, the engine and the frame at the back, uh, just back there, and then there's two bolts uh, either side of the engine hanger. The seat, 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 that is the 2018 seat. Um, went to my dealer one day just for a crack and uh, he says, you need a new seat. I was like, okie dokie. Uh, the 2017 seat was horrid. It was absolutely minging. Uh, it was just like a really thick uh, kind of vinyl 
uh, with with ribs on it to try and hold you in place uh, but yeah it, it was really slippy I mean, wearing textiles uh, there's just no grip at all but this is the kind of proper stuff uh, good good texture a bit like uh, normal motocross seats and it's comfy enough it is comfy enough but it's a massive improvement over the stock uh, 2017 seat Let's see rear ring graphics that's the uh, Husqvarna rear axle protector it's just hollow so I, I can't see it standing up to much I'll probably get the uh, SM project ones in a couple of weeks time or something um, now the rear fender thing uh, mudguard uh, I took the bottom half of the standard one off I just screwed the number plate back on to uh, what was left just to make like a free DIY tail tidy I mean for nothing it looks great it's a lot better than the than the pl standard plow hanging off the back looks pretty good to me um, do, 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 do. wings can with the baffle removed the can protector is from Auf Auspuffschutz something in Germany uh, it's just a kind of thick silicon bit with uh, uh, with a hose clamp in the back on it again I haven't crash tested it so I don't know how well it works but I don't want to crash test it now then uh, ignition cover again is another Tecmo bit a couple of anodized parts in there there's the uh, drain plug ignition plug and the oil filter cover then there's the Tecmo header it's so shiny it's so pretty and burnt blue Come on, focus, you turd. There we go. Nice and shiny blue. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nice. Now, the Tecmo header does come with some problems. This is the first version. Uh, the second version, or sort of mid to late 2018, uh, has been revised. But I can't really get the uh, oil filter cover. Uh, well, I can't get the oil filter out without kind of squashing it a bit because uh, the pipe's in the way and it makes contact with the um, uh, sprocket cover as well so again it makes a it just makes things hard to do work on the bike so yeah they, they are aware of it and that's why they made a, a revised product halfway through 2018 um, just the normal husky bar pad that's off the motocross and enduro bikes and the grips those are pro grip adventure grips um, they're a bit fatter than normal ones uh, they're a wee bit comfier and they're they're holy to try and absorb some vibrations as well make it comfier when you're on those long rides as I said that's the FS450 number board uh, they've done some uh, graphics for the headlight as well and I've got a Cyclops LED uh, bulb conversion in the standard headlight. Um, it's a lot brighter than the candle in the wind that is the stock headlamp. Uh, right, now on to some performance bits. Do do do, uh, header pipe. Together with the DNA air filter, which I'll show you in a minute. And the wings pipe and the power commander. Uh, it went from 60... 67 horsepower uh, that was with um, a pre-made map from Dynojet uh, on the custom on the power commander uh, so it went from 67 to 72 after it was all fitted and tuned up so it goes like a stabbed rat it's bonkers like do 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 brakes 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 so it's still standard disc and uh, caliper uh, however I have fitted Brembo SC uh, sintered pads uh, sintered racing pads uh, along with flushing it out, uh, flushing the brake fluid out with some uh, Motul RBF 600. The improvement was fucking night and day, like it's a, a lot better. Uh, riding on road, meh, the sintered pads, a couple of stops or whatever in town, and the, they're up to temperature and they're, they're bitey enough. Uh, but the uh, pros outweigh the cons massively uh, as, when it comes to the performance of them um, I've still got the standard brake pads in the back rip the seat off and show you the show you its bits under the seat 
there. Need some grease. There we go. So that's the DNA filter. Could probably do with a clean because I haven't had it out in four or five thousand miles. And the stage two plate. So there's no lid on the airbox. Uh, it is just that lid that holds the filter in. Yeah, uh, there's no problems with water getting in uh, or anything like that. Let's give it a wipe. Uh, there's a bit of dust and dirt, so yeah, that needs cleaned. Um, and the power commander just sits in here. There it is. I had to cut the plate that the ECU sits on just a little bit to uh, make it fit in. But yeah, that's it. All good in the hood. Um, yes, that is it. So, right, pack up and crack on. Ooh, it's so sexy. Oh, and I almost forgot the sprockets. So that's uh, a JT sprockets sprocket. Uh, that's a 44 tooth on uh, the back there. And I've got the normal Husky. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you. Uh, the 15 tooth on the front. It's the damp, dampened one. One with all the rubber bits on. Uh, it's a uh, JT sprockets gold chain. But me. Um, so that's 1544. It's great for short tracks. Um, well, it's great for just riding around the street and countryside and whatnot. Uh, the gearing's great. Uh, it's still got a, a fair amount of top speed. Uh, I have been running uh, 15.42 for the last almost two years. Uh, it was only when I changed the chain and stuff. I thought, right, I'll drop it for uh, drop it for a bit more acceleration. And uh, I was doing a track day as well, so I kind of needed some more poke. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's bogging. Now then, some of these mods, um, namely the uh, the brakes, uh, so the brake pads, brake fluid, um, the air intake, full exhaust, and the not my penis, the power commander. Uh, you can apply those mods to the new KTM 690, the 2019 one, and the probably the older ones as well. Seeing as this is just a, a white KTM. Uh, now then, let's crack on. Oh, that didn't sound healthy. That didn't sound healthy. So folks, if you have liked this video, please hit like and subscribe and hit that bell end icon for notifications for when I post more shit up. And, well, cheers for watching.